Greetings, friends. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to all of you. Weekly unemployment claims are reaching very low levels, and that's thanks to President Biden's Build Back Better Act. A small extra stimulus payment is coming after Thanksgiving. This is today's latest stimulus news and information. Please, friends, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and stay tuned until the end of this video. Please make sure to watch until the end of this video to learn how to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. The number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits plummeted last week to the lowest level in more than half a century, with employers opting against layoffs amid a persistent shortage of workers. According to the Labor Department's new report, jobless claims dropped by 71,000 to 199,000, the lowest since mid-November 1969. That drop was much bigger than economists expected. The four-week average of claims, which smooths out weekly ups and downs, also dropped by 21,000 to just over 252,000, the lowest since mid-March 2020 when the crisis slammed the economy. Overall, 2 million Americans were collecting traditional unemployment checks the week that ended November 13th, down slightly from the week before. Since topping 900,000 in early January, the applications have declined steadily and have now fallen below the pre-crisis level of around 220,000 a week. Until September 6th, the federal government had supplemented state unemployment insurance programs by paying an extra payment of $300 a week and extending benefits to gig workers and those who were out of work for six months or more. Including the federal programs, the number of Americans receiving some form of jobless aid peaked at more than 33 million in June 2020. The job market has staged a remarkable comeback since the spring of 2020, when this crisis forced businesses to close or cut hours and kept many Americans at home. In March and April of last year, employers slashed more than 22 million jobs across our nation. So friends, what are your thoughts on the new low levels of weekly jobless claims? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't know how I follow that and stay out of trouble. Um, I just want to thank you all for being here. This is so inspiring uh, for all of us. And there's not enough platitudes, really, to ex express how we feel about our leader. We are in the presence of greatness. And we're not... Uh, wait, <laughs> let me finish. This is a punchline. Yes. I was just going to say that. We are in presence of greatness because of you. Truthfully, it's working Americans who built this country, who made this country great. I'm proud of being on the Transportation Committee, but my labor of love is being on the Labor Committee. And I want to I wanna thank Rudy and Larry, partially for being up here with me as members of the inferior gender, uh, with Megan and my colleagues. <laughs> we all know who's in charge, don't we, guys? And that's the way it should be. So thank you for what you do. Listen, post-World War II, this country had the biggest economic growth in the history of, the, of our species, of the world. And it was because one in three American workers were in a union. We're not just rebuilding this country. We're rebuilding the workforce to look like that workforce and reflect what this workforce is today, diverse, inclusive, and visionary. In California and the United States, we're not afraid of the future. We run towards it. And that's because of you. You lead us. So thank you for what you do. Thanks for being here. And I'm just so excited. It's been dark for a while, hasn't it, folks? There were moments in the last few months we weren't sure this is going to turn out. So we're really excited. Uh, my time limit's up. Thank you, Anna. For I don't know what connection with the, the three-minute rule or two-minute rule, but thank you, Whitney. I'll just finish there. That's what this is about. For generations, people will be coming through and learning these skills. It's just over at 342, a brother's in my district with Secretary Walsh. We were walking through, and he said, Mark, I've never seen an apprenticeship school like this. Friends, the key word for this video is stuffing. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's 
three $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like my videos, and please don't forget to leave this keyword for this video. Thank you so much. In response to the devastating consequences of this crisis, the United States federal government has launched a series of stimulus programs to get the USA's economy back up and running. Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan includes several measures designed to achieve this and one of the lesser talked about initiatives that we could see Americans with children or dependents claim a stimulus check worth up to $8,000. This initiative is called and known as the Child Independent Care Tax Credit and is designed to assist those who have additional costs related to parenting or caregiving. Millions of American families with children are set to receive the last of six advanced monthly child tax credit payments on December 15, 2021. Yet, the U.S. government is set to shut down on December 3rd if Congress does not approve more funding to keep it open through the end of this year. In addition to that, the government may default in mid-December if the federal debt ceiling is not raised. Democrats definitely need to pass more funding to avoid a government shutdown by December 3rd. If that does not happen and the federal government is indeed shut down, the last batch of child tax credit checks should still go out. That is because in a government shutdown, some programs and services continue. That is mostly essential services and mandatory spending programs. And this is according to the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. Such programs are Social Security and Medicare checks, though some other services, such as issuing cards or verifying benefits, may lapse. In addition, Work on the American Rescue Plan is included in the list of significant agency activities in the IRS's plan to shut down, which the Office of Management and Budget keeps for the entire government. That should include the last batch of checks, though other services through the Internal Revenue Service may be on hold. Another pending issue is that the government could soon run out of money if the federal debt ceiling is not raised. Previously, the United States Department of Treasury said it would run out of money on December 3, 2021, which could put the final child tax credit payment in jeopardy. Of course, there may be further issues with the child tax credit going forward. While Democrats have included a one-year expansion and permanent full refundability of the child tax credit in their Build Back Better plan, it has not passed in the Senate yet. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here this Thanksgiving Eve. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember that this coming Friday, I will be giving away three $100 Walmart gift cards. Please enter my giveaway by making sure you're subscribed to my channel, liking my videos, and also commenting below the keyword for each video. Thank you so much, friends, and have a very blessed Thanksgiving day.